Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to Gaming on the HTC 10. Now, HTC's latest smartphone is also a gaming smartphone, as you would expect with all smartphones anyway. It's powered by the Snapdragon 820 processor. It's got four gigs of RAM. You've also got 32 gigabytes of storage, expandable up to 200. What that means simply is you can store as many games as you want. You can play quite effectively the 820 processor, as well as you've also got four gigs of RAM built in. Now, how well does it handle? We still have all that. How well can we expect this system to handle? You know, it's got a unibody design. It's all metal, which means will that heat up more than other devices? It's got a 3000 milliamp battery. Will that last longer? And also, how well do the speakers actually resonate in gaming as well as the headphone jack itself? So we're going to check all that with four games we're going to be playing. Um, and I want you guys to listen to the gameplay, uh, listen to the gameplay audio as well as also watch some of the gameplay uh, and see how it is. Now, if you want to see full length, longer gameplay sessions, check that out at Board Game Gamers. We have a gaming video right there up for you right now. So I'm going to shut up, stop playing and you guys can watch. So we clearly see that the A20 processor in the HTC 10 handles very well. No issues, no problems. You can game as much and as long as you want with this, which is very good because I think a lot of people would appreciate that. Now, uh, in terms of battery life, battery life is good. And uh, of course, games do drain the battery life quite well, but you can also boost your battery life using something called Game Boost. Now that allows you to go in and basically change your resolution of the game. So instead of displaying at 2K, it displays at 1080p, which will give you some extra battery life. Now in my use case scenario, it's dumb some to add, but not much. So instead of me losing, uh, you know, in the gameplay session of about 30 minutes, instead of me losing say uh, five to, you know, I'll say eight to 10% of my battery life, I'm losing about five to eight or so. So it does help in some avenues and some aspects. That being said though, I think this thing handles well. Now when it comes to heat dissipation, it's hot. It is really hot. So, I mean, you put this thing on your skin, it, it heats up. And that's something you're always going to get with a metal body design phone. So, because you have this metal body, unibody design, you're going to get something that will burn you in your hat. And it's something you have to take note. So, I tend to play like this with it. But anyway, um, that is to be expected. Uh, it's hopefully, you know, um, HTC will find a way to remedy that. Maybe there's some software off the updates that will help. But otherwise, though, I do like that it can handle games well. I want you guys to share your thoughts. If you have the, if you're 
If there, if there are any games you want me to check out, I can try that out and let you know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video. Also, don't forget to fill out our survey, which is down below, so you can give us your thoughts on the channel, what we can improve, what we can do better for you, and also subscribe to the channel. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.